The following game has not been rated by the ESRB. However, it does contain light to moderate amount of combat, as well as things exploding and an active volcano, which, well, kills everything that is not hiding. So, figure probably around, if it were to get an ESRB rating, probably around uh, teen or so. So, with that in mind, anyone under the age of 13 or so probably should not be watching this video. Also, furthermore, this game is technically still in early access. That means this game is not complete. So, therefore, what you will see in the following video may not reflect the final product that is eventually finished. You have been warned. Greetings and salutations. I am Outlier and I bid you welcome uh, to this channel. Joining me today is, of course, my usual co-hosts, Snowball and Wolf. And today we are returning back to Vulcanoids. So the premise of Vulcanoids is that you are an explorer who is exploring an abandoned volcanic island that was once settled by your people. But the volcano erupted, hence why it's a volcanic island, and the people who were living on said island either fled or they perished due to the volcano. And you have been uh, selected, volunteered, conscripted, thrown into the wilds with no apparent... Uh, care for your safety to see if the island is habitable once again. Well, no, the character doesn't have a backstory, at least not yet. Uh, I should point out that this game is still flagged as being part of the early access program on Steam, which means that the developers are still in the process of making the game, so there's periodically updates that add in new features, new mechanics, uh, possibly new storylines and slash requests. I'm not 1% certain if they're actually doing that last part, but in general, that's usually what most developers in Early Access do with their Early Access games. Uh, but that does mean that this game is technically not complete yet, and while there is enough of the game that can be played and make uh, videos of, uh, what you see in this video may not be fully reflective of the final version of this game. And uh, with that disclaimer out of the way, albeit rather earlier than normal, I should continue on with the fact that while you're exploring this island, uh, you discover that the island is technically inhabited by an innumerable army of robotic uh, forces, people. I'm still not quite certain if they have an actual society or they're just machines doing a job. But the island is infested with a uh, mechanical uh, army of beings known as COGS, and they travel around in drill ships, of which you're able to borrow, steal, gain access to one very early in the game, and uh, which is necessary because the COGS aren't the only thing that you're fighting on this island. Uh, not that I'm aware of, at least not yet, uh, which probably makes sense given the fact that the other thing that you have to fight is technically the island itself. Now, because as I said before, the island is a volcanic island and the people had to flee originally because the island erupted. 
it's still erupting, rather much like clockwork. So periodically, you have to get into your drill ship and dive below ground. Uh, otherwise, the volcano will erupt and wipe the entire surface and underground cave systems clean of everything that isn't the island. That includes the cogs, their drill ships, your drill ship if you're not paying attention, and you if you're definitely not paying attention, although there are several hiding spots known as blast shelters spread throughout the map. Uh, I generally manage to get to the drill ships, so I don't use the uh, blast shelters, but they're there in case you wanted to go really, really... I want to say the word is old school, but uh, I don't think that's the correct term. But whatever the correct term is, if you wish to use them, you can. And especially, I guess, if your drill ship gets destroyed and you don't have a chance to grab a new one. Now, but that's the basics of the uh, storyline of the game so far. And if you haven't seen last episode, I've been gearing up my drill ship, which I've named the Augur, even though I can't officially name it in-game. Um, I still call it the Augur. Or the drill ship. I use the terms interchangeably, but uh, I digress. Anyway, so I've been outfitting the auger with new uh, equipment after gathering, and by gathering I mean scavenging resources, uh, from the third area, which I gained access to a couple episodes ago. But because the auger at the time was rather undergunned and ill-equipped to survive in that area, I had to flee and have spent the past couple of episodes uh, retrofitting the auger to basically survive and function in the new area. I, I had planned in between episodes of finishing the upgrades to the auger, putting in a couple new um, turrets and other things. And as usual, much like every other game that I've been making multiple episode series of, uh, I've never gotten around to it because uh, I get distracted easily. Now, so there is still the, fin the last finishing touches left to do, and to further add to the retrofitting wonders, as I mentioned before, this game is still classified as being in early access. That means that the developers uh, periodically put out updates, and in between last episode and now, they actually did just that. Now, it's not as major of an update as uh, the update that added in armor, extra weapons, and multiple different kinds of turrets, but it is still somewhat extensive. Now... I don't believe it's extensive enough to the point where I need to start over completely from the beginning and redesign the auger from the ground up, but it does mean that I now have access to extra tools and uh, other toys that uh, the floor plan of the auger did not originally anticipate. So I may attempt to work that into the video, depending upon what resources I need and how much I need of them. Uh, and slash where I may try my hand at exploring the third area, and slash where continuing on with the uh, storyline of the game, which, if memory serves, was to assault probably the deadliest uh, drill ship I've seen on the uh, island so far, to scavenge its parts to upgrade the auger even further, so that way I can get to the final laser drill and hopefully uh, stop whatever cogs are doing on the island. And I think it may even solve the volcano problem as well. Uh, but uh, we'll see how that goes. And uh, as such, this game is of course made by... Thank you again. And uh, that being said, let us begin. All right, so here we are in the auger. Uh, this is not the front of the auger. In fact, this is my uh, production area. And uh, I may need to fiddle with this a little bit because this screen gets cut off by these. So uh, let's actually head out. So I am in the process of trying to upgrade the refinery module. Oh look, that's new. As I said, they updated the game. Very much updated the game. They put wallpaper on the walls. Interesting. 
So this is the auger. Also, I should mention that part of the update, they upgraded the drill. So, well, not upgraded the drill. The drill tiers still function the same. They just changed the look. So this is the tier three drill, which is what I left the auger on last time. And uh, so it automatically changed the imagery of the drill to this. Uh, the tier two drill and the tier one drill look uh, different from this. Uh, I think the tier one drill was the default drill originally. And uh, the tier two drill looked different from this and the first one. But I don't believe I can downgrade the auger. So this is what I'm going to have to work with until I start a new file. And uh, the auger is, as far as I know, uh, the largest it can actually get so far at the front end, uh, the back end, and two carriages. These are the two carriages that I mentioned. This is the back end. Now, as you can see, I have Gatling turrets on both the front and the back. My original plan was to put in sniper turrets and uh, mortar turrets on the uh, carriages and then have like the central areas of the carriages be uh, for production and uh, refining and all that fun stuff once I get the tier 3 stuff going so there's that wrong button so, so there's that also according to the update they included a light finally So the last couple episodes where I couldn't figure out the button for the uh, flashlight, apparently there wasn't one, so there's that. Also, uh, if you look where the flashlight key is, there's now a key to denote the fact that you can remotely call and uh, send the drill ship down without, without actually being inside of it. And I've kind of known that it's there, but it's nice to have a uh, handy visual guide that now I dedicated the front well the first carriage to manufacturing and refinering uh, the center part is storage by the looks of it and the third part is uh, research and then the final section of the drill ship or well, the second carriage of the drill ship I haven't done anything with at this point in time and then the back end is well the back end I kind of have power sitting on the back and uh, storage is on the front. Um, a couple chests at the tail of the drill ship that I haven't really bothered moving. Interesting. I do like opening and closing all the doors as I go, so just give the whole watertight door sub thematic thing going on even though I'm well aware that uh, I travel underground not underwater so water tightness really isn't much of an issue and uh, if there's an issue with liquids getting into the drill ship it's probably lava which means that the auger is probably about to explode anyway so moot point quick pickaxe by pressing 2 okay so apparently I'm out of titanium and titanium ore, so in order to complete the refinery module quest, it ran me all the way back to equip the pickaxe and gather ore. Now, I have absolutely no idea where I am. Alright, so I'm actually in section 2. So it goes, section 1 was the initial area, section 2 was the intermediate area, and section 3 is the area that uh, has people equipped to take out the auger relatively easily. So there's that. Also, I have to worry about the core slots, which means I can only put so many modules on the drill ship to begin with. Yeah, so manufacturing is a tier 3 unit. This is going to be a problem. I'm going to have to do this from the outside, aren't I? Can I even put a module down on the outside? 
Apparently I can. Okay. You know, I never really saw these things open up from the outside. Oh, so, uh, I'm in the process of moving storages around, so I have some on the side walls. Always fun, but you didn't really come to watch me explore the auger. So, let's shut everything down. Because we are going down. Eventually. Also, that in the background is a volcano. I have nine minutes until it erupts. Alright, now it does want me to mine titanium ore, and titanium ore is found in the third area, so I'm going to have to go to the third area, and to get to the third area, I need to go through these uh, land bridges, because lava blocks mostly the path, and it uh, denotes where so one section starts and the other ends. So now that I'm technically in section 3, there should be titanium all over the place. I see there's some. I need nine units of titanium, and I have four now, at least four units of ore. And I can get titanium from the scrap metal as well, so that should be... Also, the auger ever hungers for coal, so I try to pick up as much of it as I can. I think I got like two to three hundred units of coal, so it's kind of a moot point, but, uh, you know, I always seem to run out when I'm not paying attention, so... Grab it when I remember it. Alright, so this right here is uh, an enemy drill ship. Uh, it is a manufacturing drill ship based off of the uh, icon here. It's also three stars, so that means it should have at least one carriage, as well as the front and the back. Yep, there we are. Front of the drill ship, back of the drill ship, and one carriage. It also has a tier three drill as well. So, this is basically what I had to take out in order to get to this area, although it looks like it has Gatling turrets, that, or, no, that's a sniper turret. Gatling turrets have the multi-barrel. There's also a whole bunch of cogs just wandering, uh, wandering around, and it's colored blue to denote its function. Everything is color-coded in this game, so manufacturing drill ships and cogs are blue, refinery drill ships and cogs are red, Research uh, cogs and drill ships are green, and then we have military grade cogs, which are these guys who are coming up right here that are black. They don't have an attendant drill ship, uh, they just pal around. I believe they're actually harder to kill and carry deadlier weaponry. So that's basically one of the things that I'm fighting off against here. And uh, every time the volcano erupts, the drill ships change around, so it's always something new. This is a refinery drill ship. Also, uh, another thing that the update uh, did that I just now remembered, I can also paint my drill ship whatever color I want. So I can make it look like one of their drill ships, I can use my own color scheme. Uh, I can just uh, do the whole creative thing, but probably not the uh, smartest thing to do in the deadliest area to date, so I'm going to hold off painting the drill ship until, uh, well, I know for a fact I can survive in this area, and let's be honest, it'll probably be whenever I can manage to get back to the harbor again, which is technically the only true safe area uh, on the island, and this is a tier 4 drill ship, although it's, no, actually it's only a tier 3. It has a tier 4 drill, that's the maximum possible drill that you, uh, you can get right there, 
but because it is the deadliest drill ship on the island and technically my target, which is probably why it's painted yellow, uh, it's also heavily armed. I mean, there's one, two, three turrets. At least, well, that's a mortar turret, I believe. That looks like the Gatling turret, and I gotta be honest, I think that's a pistol turret, but I'm not 1% certain about that. And I assume that it's mirrored on the other side, so... I'm guessing uh, it's got three turrets again on the other side, so there's no easy way to approach this place, and the mortar turret would make, well, just approaching it problematic to begin with. Also, the fact that there's cogs running all over the place, and unlike in the really, really early versions of this game where uh, you kill all the cogs, the drill ship ran away, uh, they can actually produce more cogs if you're not paying attention. So, that's the target, and once the drill ship and slash where me is uh, fully equipped, armed, and armored, I plan on fighting that. Eventually. Maybe. Kind of, sort of, probably. If I want to proceed in the storyline, and I do technically want to proceed in the storyline, I am going to have to kill it, so... In the meantime, let's, uh, pop down here, find more titanium scrap. And, uh, tier 3 research module. I don't know if I need tier 3 in research intel to upgrade the research facility again. Uh, I'm in the process of upgrading the refinery, and I'm assuming research comes after refining. So let's actually grab these diamonds right here. Let's not go uh, topside just yet, even though we are technically in the cave system. Oh look, six titanium. Alright, so here's another military grade drill ship, uh, but it's not flagged yellow. So as you can see, while it is probably just as heavily armed as the other military drill ship we were just looking at, that's what the other yellow one was, uh, it only has a tier 3 drill, and I don't think it has a mortar turret. I do kind of wish they installed a zoom function on the periscope, but uh, beggars can't be choosers, I guess, is the phrasing, phrasing I believe. Also, I got three minutes until the next eruption, so it's probably not wise to pop up to the surface and do anything just yet. So let's just go sneaking around looking for other goodies. There is diamond in the lava. I can technically enter and traverse the lava, but uh, it causes the drill ship to start melting. And if the temperature, which is this bar right here, and this area denotes current temperature, or at least what the temperature will eventually stop at, exceeds this line, the drill ship starts taking damage and melting. And it gets destroyed relatively quick while in the lava. I can't tell you how many door modules I blew up just because I miscalculated how long it takes to get through the red stuff. Now it's less than two minutes, so now I have to hide from the eruption, which, you know, I'm basically doing already because I'm currently underground, so kind of a moot point. This, and this, and this, and this. And this as well. Try to sneak through the lava, there we go. Worried there. More titanium. Also, whenever the volcano erupts, all these random resources that I keep picking up change. Uh, the wrecked drill ships don't change the locations, but uh, they do reset what exactly uh, they have. So let's pop back up to the surface, and by now the uh, other drill ships should have actually left. So. Now, uh, if there was a drill ship parked in a spot where I wanted to go, rather than uh, going to another area, destroying it, and then calling the drill ship, I could technically wait for the eruption to happen. And this is actually a bad spot to see the eruption, but yeah, this scarring right here is the drill ship's movement. Uh, but as I was saying, I can wait until the volcano erupts, at which point I can uh, basically take their parking spot. 
is the formerly vacated park. It's also a not nice place to see the volcano. But uh, I don't feel like looking elsewhere, so the volcano is somewhere around here. Really there. there it is. And in eight seconds, we'll see why the volcano is canning. And by that, I mean two. And boom. There we go. Uh, vol classic volcano corruption. Big mushroom cloud you don't need to worry about. What you do need to worry about is this wall of gray death. And uh, that's what I believe the scientific term is called a pyroclastic flow, uh, which is a wave of very hot and very toxic ash uh, that runs along the ground, which is what kills everything. And as you can see, it turned everything from green to gray. And uh, it's starting to snow, which is actually ash, if memory serves, and the countdown restarts. So now that I should have enough titanium, and that is a... Uh, Wall of lava I'm not getting across. There's a land bridge. Let us return to area two to see if we can now ha get enough uh, titanium to upgrade the refinery. And here we are at the Molten Lake. Also, another thing that they added in was a uh, fog. So, according to the update, right after the uh, volcano erupts, uh, there's this re uh, residual fog, which makes things hard to see, as evidenced by the fact that uh, I can't, I couldn't actually see the drill ship uh, surface. Also, apparently, it's quite foggy in the drill ship as well. Now, I would assume that the volcanic uh, fog cloud that I'm currently in is difficult to breathe in, but while they included... Oh, look, I left this door open by accident. Not that it really matters outside of thematic purposes. Uh, but as I was saying, uh, I would assume that in real life this, such a cloud would be difficult to breathe in, but they have yet to install a respirating device, so... Yeah, uh, it's not going to kill the character as far as I know. Okay, so now that I have the refinery module open, I need to produce 9 titanium, which should currently be working on. Of course, it's going to take the titanium and start turning, keep turning it into things. So let me turn that off real quick and... Uh, yeah, just let it produce the titanium. Now, what I don't think I have anything doing is anything making titanium, turning the titanium scrap into titanium, so... Yeah. Let me do that. Because in addition to ore, I do also have scrap, which I can also use to make titanium. Okay, and now that the titanium is made, I need to turn it into titanium plates. So, it's currently making plates right now, so i got to turn that back on. And uh, that's actually iron plates, so I want this one. All right, and once it's done making titanium plates, uh, it should tell me to make the refinery module, which is technically already in the uh, production station. So once I have the resources to make it, it should start making it. Yeah, I need time, uh, nine plates, nine bolts, two furnaces, and one Intel refinery tier three, of which I should have. Well, I can make the furnaces now, interesting. Alright, so in addition to all that fun stuff, they did include some extra stuff as well. Alright, I should turn this off.
so that way it doesn't accidentally make storage instead of the refinery because I'd rather have the refinery right now but as I was saying there's a whole bunch of other things this is just the standard upgrades right now uh, do we have any new ammo I mean not really it's the same ammo uh, components aren't chained neither are the uh, consumables but there are new tools I do have the ability to make new titanium armor uh, I think is what I'm wearing but uh, they also included a pair of melee weapons including the circular saw and a cock pickaxe so the cock pickaxe is a mining tool enhanced by uh, cock technology can serve as a melee weapon so I can turn uh, I can basically build uh, I guess an upgraded pickaxe and I can also get a circular saw, which are melee weapons, which if I'm ever running out of ammo, I can then use to fight uh, the cogs, well, hand to hand, for lack of a better term. There's also, I don't think there's any new modules, but they also included extra new devices, including an armor repair station, which basically allows me to repair armor um, in, in past, uh, if armor took damage, my options were to completely replace it with a new set of armor, or wait until it dies, and then uh, just put on a new set. Now with this, I believe I can actually repair uh, the armor I currently wear. I also now have a healing device as well, as well as the dispenser, which allows me to dispense multiple objects without digging through uh, the inventory. So these are seem to be relatively easy to make. So let me get let me get two of each, as well as one dispenser. Looks like it takes copper plates and tubes and dials, so uh, it shouldn't affect the titanium. And as I was uh, looking through all of that, they made enough titanium plates to start the refinery module, which means I can then turn this back on because it already has enough resources to make this. So any extra resources that I have. We'll be start making this, and I got 22 units of titanium and four units of ore still. So hopefully I'll have enough to build everything that I need. And uh, the refinery module is now done. So what I need to do is go find it. Huh? Didn't realize I could shift that. Probably should though. That's an analyzer. Uh, sniper turret modules are done, as are the mortar turrets. Grab you and uh, you. Where is. Oh, there we are. Tier 3 module. So I only have so much core space, which means while I could technically put the. Uh, refinery module right here uh, I probably don't have the ability to actually use both of them at the same time so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the refinery the old refinery module and stick in the new one so that finishes technically finishes that quest so look at the new quests and I apparently have the ability to make a steel hull now so the cog attacks are getting stronger as we are moving closer to the volcano core, every extra armor we can get is welcome and increase our chances to hold off long enough until turrets are done with the work. Parts of the steel hull can be found in some tier 2 and most certainly in all tier 3 drill ships. Make sure to check the stats panel. And apparently, localization for this has been disabled, so I don't know if this is actually going to do anything or you know, be important or if I accept this quest, it's actually going to be able to be uh, finished, especially considering I think think should already have the tier 3 hole in place also the fog is now gone oh that's always fun yeah I already have the tier 3 hole so I have absolutely no idea if I accept this quest what is going to happen apparently nothing because I've already finished it So the final one is to attack and destroy the COG flagship. Our next objective is to locate and destroy the COG flagship that holds parts of the most advanced upgrade, the titanium hull. 
We can't travel to the volcano unless the drill ship is equipped with this technology. We roughly know where the flagship surfaces as strong defenses and attack groups. Be well equipped before you launch the attack. The timing is also critical, uh, or crucial, as the flagship might retreat before eruption and all your efforts will be wasted. Ideally, launch the attack right when it surfaces the first time. Good luck. Now, technically, I know where the flagship is. I've been staring at it multiple times. And apparently, unlike uh, the last time where it's kill the flag, kill the drill ship, take its drill to upgrade the drill, this time I need its hull. Although I can still get its drill and uh, uh, track parts as well. So I could have sworn... I just remember there was one other thing that I could have sworn uh, got... Re yeah, up... up. Another thing that they released with the update is the gunner seat. So now with the gunner seat, I'm able to actually control the turrets manually. So that's actually a light. I don't need I don't need lights. I need dials. Dials should be under components. There's a dial. Let me get four dials and four gunner seats, which again requires copper plates and tubes. Of which I have plenty of. Alright, so I do still need to mess with the storages, so... There's that. Third one's still being worked on. But uh, I can just simply pop out this storage. And because all the storages are open, I th think... Uh, I shouldn't lose what's in inventory. But I put this there, and I now have access to 92 units of storage, as opposed to this thing where it's 72 and uh, 24. can remove these, and put in another storage. That gets me 96. And this one's already at 96, so that's currently in place. I think the fourth one was going to go... Yeah, the fourth one was going to go on the roof, on the uh, front area, so... Technically, close this one. Yeah, this is a 70, 72 unit one. So, the turret's firing or am I just not listening to it? Alright, so this is now done, so I can put this out front. Just gotta remove the old ones, and as I said before, I'm assuming... Wait, I can put it a little bit back? That's weird. Oh no, this is just the tier 2 one. Never mind. There we go. Alright, so storages should now be good, and uh, I want to put the... Healing. Health and armor right here. Health and armor right there. The dispenser there. I'm guessing they need to recharge. Okay, so now if I uh, get injured and don't feel like using one of my actual health packs, I can just come here and well, use that. I'm already fully healed and the armor should be, well, fully armored. So there's that, and the dispenser should give me extra resources, well, stuff. Uh, yeah, I can dispense whatever I want out of it. Um, what do I want out of it? I mean, my primary weapons are... The Gatling gun, the sniper rifle, and the mortar turret. I mean, I technically have the submachine gun, but if assaulting a drill ship in Area 2 taught me anything, I should probably have fewer weapons in my inventory, not more. And because I kept getting taken out, trying to switch between the pistol, the shotgun, the submachine gun, and uh, hand grenades, even though hand grenades are technically in a different area. So let's actually retire the submachine gun real quick. And where did I put the 
I say, I had a pistol and shotgun somewhere around in here. I also had extra storages over here, so they may have been exploded. This is... Well, it was my crafting area. I have, like, uh... Had a manual refining and research bench there. But uh, I do probably should focus on getting the upgraded research facility. Which I don't think I actually have. Yeah, it's still a tier 2 one. Okay. What do I need for the tier 3 module? I don't actually see the tier 3 unit here. What about... And I think I may actually need to research the upgrade first. Which is not done here. I mean, it probably could be, but... Uh... Yeah, here we are. Advanced research. So I need 5 research intel and 15 diamonds. So... Alright, so I can basically see these things uh, easier. Probably keep this uh, the way this is, just simply because I don't feel like uh, fighting with this whole thing. Alright, so that's being produced. Alright, and uh, I should probably put the new turrets in. So, this actually needs to move, because I was planning on having these be in the center area. So, I'll put refining there. Remove this one. Put manufacturing there. And then I can put... I don't know if this is... I think this is a sniper turret. Sniper turrets out front, the, on the outside of the carriages, and uh, your search devices are missing. Oh, I must have pulled that off out. But uh, put the mortars on the inside. So now, if I go to the new carriage, because this is technically inside, the mortars go here. Research goes there. And my two remaining sniper turrets go here. So, now I do have some extra space. Let's put in a spare storage right here, just uh, to do something with the space. Alright, so that's still going on. And, uh, gun emplacements. Alright, so where do I want the gunner seats? I mean, I had planned on having to be li uh, living quarters and then storage and then uh, finding, but you know what? Let's remove the bed. Gunner seat goes there. Gunner seat goes there. Can I rotate it? I can. Wrong direction, though. Gunner seat goes there. Move this thing. And gunner seat goes there. I can go over here real quick. Put the bed here. And the quest piece there. 
drill ship taking damage? Why is the drill ship taking damage? Hear the turrets firing. Alright, so anyway, this allows me to access the turrets, and it looks like I'm currently focused on a sniper turret. I can switch turrets using X, page up and page down, so that was a sniper. This is a mortar, another mortar, another sniper, another sniper third mortar, and then the Gatling turrets. It goes back to the mortar and the snipers. I can also scroll up and down, and then I can save the turret, my current turret as a uh, left control or right control. So I'm assuming whatever turret I set as the default is the turret that I automatically start off with once I get into this seat. You can also pack up the turret and then redeploy it manually from the seat. So in reality, what I probably should do is have a gunner seat for every turret. That would make actually the most sense. So you know what, let's put you there, put you there right in the center. It's going to make getting around up here rather difficult. Especially considering uh, two of the turrets are right there and the bed is now in the way. Stick you right there for now. Of course, that does also mean that for the Gatling turrets, I am going to... Uh, now, what I don't know... Now, I don't know if I'm hitting uh, left control. Oh, gotta hide from the eruption. Okay. Uh, get out of the turret. Oh, it sets it there. Okay. It looks like I can actually set each turret as default uh, for each separate uh, gun platform. But I need to hide from the eruption because I'm too busy playing with my new toys to pay attention to the fact that the volcano wants its own say. So let's shut everything down and get down. There's the volcano. Now, since I can just quite easily go down here, and you may think, oh, it's, the pyroclastic flow is uh, only happens on the surface, so you should be safe deep underground. And you'd kind of be right, except, you know, I should have thought that the time this out more, but you could have simply had the sense to say, uh, end with except and then it goes boom but uh, as usual I have poor time management skills so thusly boom. instead of a wall of ash you have a wall of lava now I don't know if the ash fog happens below in the ground in the caves I would think it doesn't but you can never tell I may have also melted the periscope. No, nope, we're good. 
No Ash Cloud, but looks of it. But uh, that, I guess, makes sense. I'm gonna pick up these crystals. I'm not going to be picking up these crystals because uh, the basic inventory for the drill ship is filled. Because as I was yanking stuff out of storage, that's all now filled. Okay. Uh, let me get to the next one. This is still largely empty, so just pop everything in here. And then we just pop back up. Head back to the Molten Lake because I'm still technically fiddling with the drill ship and all its fun little new toys. Plus, I need to prepare for the uh, assault on the flagship, so. But I think all of my turrets now have ammo. So I should be good there. But I have two, four in the back. I want to need eight more gunner seats. Another thing that I don't know is, does this go to the closest turret, basically the one directly in front of it, or does it set up as a, does it like pick a turret at random? So am I actually, rather than having this be this turret, am I selecting, say, the other sniper turret? I mean, it feels like it's the closest one. Because that's the other mortar turret right there. Yeah, and this is on the outer bend, so I can't really see that one. And these are all built now, so... Of course, this stuff's technically in the way, so I'm going to have to move it if I want the turret controls here. So, this goes here. And the map gets moved, so I put this here. And I can put the periscope here. Status board... Well, it goes right here. I'm going to have to squeeze around to get to the uh, window. Map is going to be a problem. Yeah, I can't get through the door there, so... If I put the armor stations here, I can fit the map there. Yeah, so I just pop in the door to grab health. Gonna have to go a little bit further in to repair the armor, but I should be good there. I'm not closing the doors, I'm on the surface. So the turrets at the, the first uh, carriage in the front of the drill ship should be fine. Pop up here, put this here. That one. Do the same here and thusly. Now I do wonder why I'm bothering to put the turrets on the upper decks. Uh, I have no real answer for that other than the fact that all the other ones are on the upper deck and 
it just seems appropriate, especially given the fact that I usually use the lower deck, especially the edges of the uh, lower deck for everything like the production stations and the automatic production stations. So there's no real spare room for the uh, Gatling turret, well, for the turret controls. In fact, I could actually probably put the bed back here. Be like, this would be my personal living quarters and then I'll have access to the tail gums up there. Plus, I don't really use the tail to begin with, and the bed's just kind of in the way. Alright, so all the gunnery platforms, I did... I'm paranoid and sometimes forget what I do. I just want to make certain that I have... Yeah, those are defaulted to those turrets. Okay. Alright, so that should be all the shiny new toys and everything for the drill ship. And now I just have to equip for war. Now, I do have what looks like equipped titanium armor. The steel, I think, or at least iron, only has two health bars. So I'm guessing the titanium has four. I don't have any titanium armor being constructed, nor do I have upgraded sniper rifle rounds or submachine gun rounds. Not that I have the submachine gun packed away uh, in my on, in my pockets or backpack right now. Plus, there's also melee weapons to build. So let's focus now on let's focus now on building spare armor. Do I have any open slots here? No, I do not. Hmm. Oh, that's problematic. I got one here. Manufacturing, more research. Now what I could do is, because research is now technically all the way down here, I could move the uh, research, automatic research stations down here. And just automatically default it to any Yeah, so now any broken module or cog head that I pick up will automatically be turned into uh, research. So I think that's how I had it set up as. I can just build three more production hubs, stick them where the resource one was, research ones were. And then I can build more, well, stuff. Probably have it focusing on ammo, just simply because I have quite a bit of ammo and it's all over the place. Of course, the big inventory graph does show me what ammo I currently have access to. And speaking of ammo, I think I can actually go one tier higher in terms of research. Where am I going? I need the research station, not the actual module so right here if i look at here uh i can i should be able to get advanced explosives of course one refinery tier three which i should already have but now that i think about it is that already installed let me look at the upgrades no i do not have tier three explosives And soon I will. Alright, so from here I want... Okay, so it looks like I'm making 30 pistol ammo. Now just to play it safe, since that way I have backup here, one here, one here, and then same with the shotgun, so this will make uh, shotgun and pistol ammo, this one will make 
submachine gun ammo. I'm making 30 there, 20 there, 200. 100 sniper, 2000 minigun. It's turret ammo. That's 400 sniper rounds. I wanted 100. Like 100 of these as well. And it looks like 50 mortar grenades. Of course, I also have high explosive mortar grenades as well. So, what I'll do is take off the uh, Gatling rounds. Put in high explosive rounds there. And then for here, it'll be the 2,000 Gatling rounds. I guess the mortar turret ammo, I guess. How much turret ammo am I keeping in stock? Looks like uh, 100 of each except Gatling, which is 2,000. I have no idea what was making mortar turret ammo. Apparently nothing. So now it's that's being made. Uh, it was a hundred sniper rounds. That was 200 sniper rounds. 100 pistol, 100 shotgun, even though I don't have Pistol and shotgun turns equipped, and uh, 300 submachine gun. I mean, these three right here are all the turrets that I'm currently using. But, um. Let me put in submachine gun and pistol just simply because that's what I've been using in the past and you know if my current turrets break and I need something in a pinch I'll probably just end up using what's currently in storage I don't have any shotgun tur I mean I have shotgun turrets I don't use them so I don't think I actually need to put in for more and actually let's make more mortar grenade ammo let's bump that up to 100 And I'll leave the shotgun ammo in here, and on the off chance I end up eventually making shotgun, uh, using shotgun turrets, but I can clear all of these out now. This one's making grenades. And then I can have this be used for armor. Put that up to 10. As I said, uh, this one can be used for armor, so I think I had one there, five for that, put this up to five as well, and put this up to five. So I need more titanium tubes to make titanium armor, and uh, I should probably also make the melee weapons as well. But I don't need to automate the melee weapons, I just need to make them. So, one circular saw, one detonator, and the cockpit X, which I can't make yet because I need one more titanium tube. Now, the detonator is not a melee weapon, but I am going to need it because the high grade explosives, these explosives right here, uh, without the detonator, I can set on a timer and they'll eventually explode on by themselves. Or, if I have the detonator, I can put, like, however many I want down, then use the detonator to set them off. Uh, so it's more of a uh, controlled explosion. 
There's the circular saw. That goes in the two slot. Okay. That's regular pickaxe. Circular saw. Probably should not be doing that in the auger. And I'm assuming the cog pickaxe also goes into section two. Now, I don't know if it replaces the standard pickaxe or, you know, it's like a choice between three different options, but I'm currently in area two, so there's no titanium I can just simply grab. So let's go down. got six minutes left before the eruption hits anyway but uh, let's go find some titanium I think it goes titanium tubes and then bolts and plates in terms of the automated uh, production facilities let's grab this real quick before I melt the auger Analyzer, grab this tier 3 research module because I always need more intel. Scrap and titanium. Well, that's to the surface. Don't remember if there's an underground in um, tier 3 or that's what the uh, extra titanium hull is for. So now the third. I know Cave System 2 is where the final boss area, for lack of a better term, is. Uh, I can only ever go from surface to Cave Area 1, and then Cave 2 is where the, I guess, the final cog stronghold is. But in order to get to Cave Area 2, at least in the past on the old maps, I needed the upgraded hull and uh, drill, which I didn't have access to. I mean, I did have access to it originally, I just never got that far because I stopped playing it and then they came out with another update and I started making videos of the game and then I started over so I never got around to actually finishing this so this is technically as far as I've gotten so far Keep grabbing all this. oh wow there's actually Two flagships. This one and uh, or not. So the target's probably at Lakeview, and the quest wants me to pop up at um, Cog Hills. So that way, it's like right next to it. I'm gonna uh, walk out and attack it, I guess. But at 3 minutes and 22 seconds before the volcano erupts, uh, I'm probably not going to have much time to attack it. So let's keep looking for some extra supplies. I just realized I never set the dispenser to actually dispense anything. Uh, so what do I need in a nutshell? Probably explosives, grenades, and uh, health packs decent combination so I mean, I mean I'm guessing it's not gonna let me pick anything up because it, all the storages are closed because I'm technically underground I mean I probably should actually have ammo instead of explosives Grab this titanium while I'm thinking about it and see it right there. I would 
pop back up, finish the few construction things that I have in the works, but we're now at the two minute mark and I need to hide from the explosion. Not the explosion, the eruption. So let's keep grabbing titanium and coal and other fun things. Alright, now the quest is to stay underground. Alright, so it's now at the 1 minute 10 second mark and this drill ship is still technically above ground. I think the uh, cock drill ships start hiding at the 1 minute. Not. This one really enjoys tempting fate. Although its last couple of guys are probably still heading back in, so it's probably why it's still up. And this guy is not getting in the door for some reason. I'm guessing he's clipping. Well, I guess he gets to be left behind. It stinks to be him. Because uh, his ship is now sailed. Oh, there's another guy. Three of them, actually. Oh, they sacrificed their lives for the cause. Death comes, everything goes gray. Apparently, I'm slightly low on health, don't know why. And then, when everything resets, they're gone. So let's just grab this titanium right here and this coal. Flagship hasn't popped back up yet. So let's grab resources until it can, until it does, and it just did. There's a refinery uh, research control ship right there. Alright, so I guess the flagship doesn't really leave because it's still at Lakeview. So let's grab this titanium. Grab the rest of this titanium. Uh, shove this analyzer in some place because I don't need it. Oh, that's the sniper rifle. And uh, it's sniper rifle, Gatling gun, mortar uh, cannon. And then we do the all important save because I really do not like my chances, especially given the fact I don't have any spare armor in my pockets. So let's pop up a cock hills. Landing site is occupied by a drill ship. Okay, so I'm guessing it shifts. So what I originally thought was this was the quest marker and this was the drill ship. Uh, this is now the drill ship and this is now the quest marker. So rather than going to Cock Hills, let's go to Lakeview. Where we're probably immediately beset by enemy Cog units. And once we're up, open power, open storage, and open turrets. I'll leave the manufacturing capabilities closed because they have better defenses that way. Uh, let's just grab... Uh, where are my mortar guns? There we are. Let's grab some of those. Sounds like somebody's going to war. Where's my iron armor? I just want spare armor. And now we're being attacked. So, iron's right here, so let's grab that. And, uh, let's go to war. Something's shooting. At least one of my turrets is opening fire. Don't know which one, though. 
but uh, it looks like that the flagship has Uh, better positioning, and here they come. One down, I think. Oh, he got back up. At least now I know that the drill ship, well, the auger can defend itself. And you're dead now. Alright, so what do you guys got? High-end guns. Or well, high-end ammo. Ooh, what's that? Drill ship's taking damage from three different locations. Okay, let's take cover behind the auger. I have absolutely no idea if I'm even hitting anything. They're all dead, and my titanium armor is almost gone. One thing I do need to worry about is their turrets. So I'm going to hide here and uh, just do this. As I am forced to flee. And there goes my titanium armor. So since I only have iron, or copper armor, I should say. He's getting back up, and I'm actually running low on health, so let's flee real quick. What's the status of my turrets? Damaged, actually. So you know what? Let's get down, because something just exploded. Alright, and we're gone. Oh, they broke the door and the turret. And the storage up here. That's going to be a problem. Okay. As well as multiple control surfaces. Okay, so what did we learn? We learned that uh, going to Lakeview is a bad idea. Oh, this door is still open. As is this one. Hmm. Alright, so let's retreat real quick. Just grab this, and this, and that. Probably that. Or not. Alright, 
right, let's just flee back to area two. All right, so everything is a learning exercise, and what did we learn? Well, yes, there's that. We learned that assaulting the flagship is going to be a rather difficult and in-depth uh, issue. Uh, we learned that there's quite a few cogs there. There are quite a few cogs that regenerate quickly, and they have the means and firepower to do damage to the Argo relatively quickly. Also, Location Lakeview is a bad spot to set up shop in, as it is below their flagship. items repair that module. Should be making more breach kits. Of course the manufacturing uh, side is off because that's broken. That actually got damaged. Hmm. Right, so let's just open let's just open this one. Open this one. hearing gunshots. Somebody's still alive down here. Alright, now that that's open... Apparently all out of turret stuff, and it's making bolts, then tubes, then plates. Okay. Um... Making things. Modules. Uh, need one extra storage. Where are my breach... Do I even have spare breach kits? Is there an even spot for breach kits here? I'm guessing no. So you know what? Breach kit goes there. Module repair kit goes there. And I don't have any of either. Which one's making the breach kits? I need copper bolts to make the breach kits. And I don't have any copper for bol copper bolts. I don't have any copper to begin with. So... I need to replace the controller manufacturer, which... I need more copper for anyway. Which turret ammo is low? Apparently I'm out of sniper rounds. Unless the storage that they were in exploded. I say I don't think they used a hundred rounds. But I'm going to need copper. I'm going to repair the auger. I mean, I fought for like three minutes and uh, they blew a hole in the wall. But that means I'm going to have to go to the, uh, to the uh, harbor to refit repair and that's where copper lives. Probably grab the iron on the way, just simply because I think I'm out of iron too. So 
now that I'm in area one, I can just start grabbing copper stuff. If uh, the basic inventory actually had any space for them. <laughs> Here we are at the harbor. Let's grab more copper, coal and, sul coal and sulfur, which I can't pick up because once again, inventory is filled. And my personal inventory is now filled, so I gotta go all the way back in here. Just to put all this stuff away. And I think, yeah, Take stuff out. Go figure. Anyway. So. Let's just uh, pop back up at the harbor. Even though I got technically nine minutes until the next eruption. gonna open up as much as I can and hopefully they can do some basic finding construction at the very least hopefully they can get the breach kits done so do we even have anybody making breach kits no material So it's making stuff. It's making the... It's making the explosives first. Because I need bolts, I need plates in order to make the breach kits. And plates are on the third of the list, so it's going to make the spare bolts, and then it's going to make the tubes, and then it's going to make the plates, so... In order to get the breach kits, I'm going to need, and I have one here. It's enough to actually fix the side wall, if not the roof. But in order to do that, I need more copper, and I know that the, where the copper mine is, so it should be easy just to go out, grab that, uh, grab a whole pile of copper, head back into here and uh, affect repairs. But, all oh, and then once the repairs are affected, I can head back out and find a better way to hit the flagship because the way that I was going didn't work. I mean, I showed up, I was able to take out a whole bunch of cogs, but uh, in the long run, they did more damage to the auger than I did to the flagship. And I was in a bad position, constantly surrounded, constantly attacked. So I'm going to need to think up of a new tactic, uh, a new way of doing things, and like I said, fix the auger. Make it better, hopefully, maybe. Figure out which turret is running low on ammo. And uh, proceed from there. But uh, all of that is going to be another... Oh, and uh, fix everything else that's busted. But all of that is going to be another issue for another time, because I'm going to call it here. Everybody stay safe from the plague, and, um, have a good day.